This video will be useful both for beginners, those who are just getting ready to master video editing, and advanced YouTube creators. In the next 10 minutes, you will see a review of the newest version of Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021. I will tell you about the basic functions of the program and the latest features of the new version. Time to get started! Hi there, this is Mobavi Blog, your go-to channel for making awesome videos. It's Roman with you again. Today I want to focus on my favorite topic. Yes, you guessed it. Let's talk about video editing in Movavi Video Editor Plus. This program has been in my personal top of video creation tools for a long time. After several years and almost a dozen of updates, the video editor from Movavi has acquired a lot of professional features. So today it's much more than just a video editor for beginners. That's why I decided to do a short review of the newest version, Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021. Beginners can learn about the basic functions of the program, and if you are already familiar with the program, you will learn about the newest features. So let's get to it. So here we are, this is Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021. In the sidebar at the top left are the most important tabs. Most of the program's features and tools are collected in them and categorized. You will be switching between them a lot during the editing process. But for now, let's look at just the first one, the Import tab. Here you can add video clips and other media files to your project. All files you add to your project will go to the media bin. A preview will appear in the preview window on the right. This is a convenient way to preview the material you've shot and choose what to add to your project. Once you've found the take you want, drag and drop it down onto the timeline area, which is where video and audio tracks are. This is where your video will be assembled from various video clips, audio files, titles, transitions, pictures, and effects. You should also pay attention to the other sections of the import tab – sounds, music, sample videos, backgrounds, and effects packages. All of this is additional content that you can freely use in your YouTube videos and beyond. There won't be any copyright issues. Part of the content is built into the program and available for free, but in the last section, effects packages, you will see additional paid content from Movavi. There are a lot of additional sets in the Movavi library in a wide variety of themes and styles. They include video effects, transitions, backgrounds, audio effects, stickers, and music. I think we got stuck in the import tab a little. So before I get to the next tabs and the toolbar on the timeline, I have a little announcement for you. The Movavi team has launched a special summer sale for subscribers to the channel. We have collected the most popular programs and effects to make up our 12 special offers. There are ones that include effects created specifically for YouTube and other social media. There are ones that include annual subscriptions to the Movavi best-selling programs and the ones that include both. So let's take a look at a bundle of a one-year subscription to Movavi Video Editor Plus, the Let's Start a Vlog Effect Set and Summer Vlog Pack. So basically, they're free products for the price of one program. You won't find something like this anywhere else on the Movavi website. The main advantages of an annual subscription are the price, because it's much less than the price of a lifetime version of the same product, and the update policy, because it's more flexible and does not depend on our yearly updates. So when we release Movavi Video Editor Plus 2022 this fall, you won't have to pay extra fees to upgrade great. And when your subscription is over, it's completely up to you to decide whether it's worth renewing. The Let's Start a Vlog Effects Set and Summer Vlog Pack are lifetime products, which means they will be built into your current version of Video Editor Plus, and when the upgrade time comes, they will automatically move to the next one. And if you decide to switch to Movavi Video Suite, the effects can be installed in this product as well. The sale is underway until August 26, and if you want to check out not only this bundle, but all the sale options, just follow the link in the description or pin comment to get to our official web page. Enjoy shopping! Ok, now we're back in Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021. The next tab after import is called Filters. This is where it's easy, just like everything else in the program. This tab contains a variety of effects and filters that you can apply to your video clips. There are a lot of them. There are color filters, artistic effects, retro styling, vignettes, blurs, glitch effects, and more. 
Using the filters is very easy, just drag and drop the one you like right onto the clip you want. If you change your mind, just click the star icon on the clip. Here you can reduce the intensity of the effect or remove it completely. By the way, usually in basic video editors for beginners, you cannot adjust the intensity. This used to be the case in Movavi, but now the program is moving towards professional editing tools, so in the latest version you have this feature. The third tab is dedicated to transitions. These are special effects that allow you to go from one clip to another just in case simple hard cuts, jump cuts and cutaways are not enough for you. Transitions can be very useful for editing dynamic videos, such as travel videos, and also helps to separate one part of the story from another when you're editing a vlog, for instance. Just like effects, transitions are categorized. There are many transitions in Mobavi Video Editor 2, all of which are already built into the program. Using transitions is also easy, just drag and drop one to the junction between clips on the timeline. Then you can set the duration of the transition, how fast it will be, and also the fill method. You can tell the program what to do if there aren't enough frames for transition. Now, if you are familiar with the earlier versions of Mobavi Video Editor and already bored with this review, here's something you might like. Now, in version 2021, the transition tab now has a new category called with sound. Here you will find new transitions for which sound effects are already selected and built in. In the settings, you can change the duration and volume. Tab number four, titles. I think you have already guessed it. Similar to effects and transitions, dozens of ready-made presets are collected here. There are simple titles, animated titles, and even complete intros with backgrounds, animated text, and cool fonts. Titles are a very useful tool, especially for YouTube videos and vlogs. They're not just subtitles or titles at the end of a movie. You can use them to highlight the name or topic of your video or a part of it, add lower thirds, captions, and extra text info right in the frame. Using titles is super easy. You need to drag and drop the title to the timeline, but unlike effects and transitions, titles are not built into a particular video clip, but have their own life as separate clips on the timeline. Now, if you double-click on a clip with titles, you can adjust the position of the text in the frame, align it exactly with the guides, change its size, color, font, animation speed, and other parameters. It's the same with stickers. I'm talking about the fifth tab. Stickers can come in handy, after all, it's not just emoji in funny pictures, which, by the way, can also come in handy for vlogging, but also all sorts of arrows, shapes, and signs, all that will be useful for tutorials and educational videos. Finally, the tab number 6 contains all the other editing tools that weren't included in the previous tabs. This is where you'll find most of the more advanced tools for more professional video editing. For example, there's Chroma Key, the tool to replace a green or blue studio background with any other background, as if you were shooting out of the studio. And here you can also crop the video and adjust the tilt, insert another video or picture inside the frame, adjust the pan and zoom, stabilize the video, slow it down, and do some color correction. I'd like to pay special attention to the animation tool, also known as motion tracking. This thing helps you set the motion for objects in the frame, for example, for pictures, stickers, and titles. You can set up animation manually, or you can choose from ready-made templates. Animation templates are a very convenient advantage of Mobavi Video Editor. In a couple of clicks, you can make any picture or text appear in the frame in a smooth, spectacular way, or also disappear the same way. By the way, good news again for those who are familiar with the program. In the new version, the Highlight and Conceal tool has also learned to move. In the Motion tab, you can tell the program to track an object in the video and hide it through blurring or pixelization or highlight it. A few words should be said about the editing area. Even if Movavi Video Editor is your first video editing program, you will quickly understand the logic behind timeline editing. This is the principle used by most video editing programs. There are tracks on the timeline. We always start on the bottom main track. You can add more tracks on top later on. That way you can add captions, pictures, or overlap the video with another video. For example, with a video from the second camera, 
or some illustration of what you're talking about. This is also where you cut the clips. You can just pull on the edges of the clip or use the scissors tool. You can trim a clip, divide it into parts, rearrange clips and delete what you don't want to use for the project. Normally in Movavi, when you trim clips or delete a clip on the main track, the program automatically snaps the clips together without leaving any gaps on the track. This is done on purpose because it helps beginners not to accidentally leave voice or gaps on the track so there are no black screens in the final edit. But for advanced video makers, this approach is not always convenient. Therefore, in the new version, you can enable gaps, then nothing will be automatically snapped. This gives new opportunities for more complex and precise editing. If you select a clip on the timeline and click the clip properties on the toolbar, you can access the settings for that particular clip. You can change its volume, adjust fade in and fade out, and change the speed. By the way, in the newest version, you can make it so that when you change the speed of the video, the tone of the voice won't change. That is, the voice, for example, will not become cartoonish when speeding up the video. That wasn't the case before. Finally, let me tell you about another advanced feature of Movavi Video Editor Plus that you will find in the newest version 2021 – audio track synchronization. If you record audio not with a camera microphone, but using a recorder or you use two or more cameras at once, the audio and picture from different devices have to be synchronized at the editing stage. Usually, you have to do it by eye or by ear, but in Movavi Video Editor, you can just select two clips with sound and press one button. The program synchronizes everything by itself. Of course, these are not all the features of Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021. I try to talk about the most important features and functions which I personally find the most useful in my work. There are a lot of other useful things in the program. I could easily miss something, so feel free to write in the comments below what you would like to learn more about. That's all for today. My name is Roman. I will see you very soon.